There are way too many to-do apps and I've tried a lot of them. I wanted to boil down to just 5 apps that were unique in their own ways and that at least one of them will satisfy your need exactly. The first app is called Actions by Moleskin, and it's really effective because it lets you create these master lists where you can keep throwing stuff as and when it comes to you. So you keep adding your to-dos there, but then the night before or in the morning, you just drag and drop stuff to your schedule for the day. And that's great because now you've got all your tasks in one place, but then you keep prioritizing them on the basis of that day and the urgency. The app is beautifully made, it's super easy to use and it allows you to set up due dates and reminders and it also has plenty colors. Each master list can be of its own color. And then you can just, you know, drag and drop your actions that you want to do in a day for that particular day. The task retains the color of the master list. Now actions is available on iOS as well as Android. But if you are on iOS and you use TimePage, then Actions integrates with TimePage, which is a calendar app, and you just got like more in the Actions app. The next one is Notes Widget Reminder, and you can easily use it as a to-do app. The first and the most important thing is that it resides on your home screen. So whenever you open it, it's right there in front of you. And adding a task is super easy. You just tap on the plus sign, Type in your task and then you can add a reminder to it if required and the app will just throw the reminder to you whenever it's due. Now the next app is Google Keep and it's probably meant for 70% of you guys out there. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it because I assume that you know or at least have heard of Google Keep already. But essentially the app lets you add to-dos using lists. You can give your list a name and then you can also add tags if in case you didn't know that. Adding tags will just help you filter faster and look at relevant to-dos only. You can obviously set reminders. And reminders can be location-based or time-based which is just perfect. Now although you can set reminders but you can't do it for individual tasks in your list. So you can set a reminder for your entire list. Hence Google Keep is great if you want to maintain a list for a long time and you don't need reminders for individual tasks. Plus it's absolutely free. And another really good feature is that you can have the keep widget on your home screen and have it in front of you all the time. So you can use it either to view your lists or your to-dos. Now the next app is called Todoist and it's like the king of to-do apps. It's serious to-do business. I mean I could do a hundred videos just to explain everything that Todoist can do but I'm gonna try and be as brief and summarized as possible to give you an idea. Okay, so you can create multiple projects and then each project can have multiple tasks. Each task can also have its own subtasks if you need it. And it gets even more easier to manage because now they've introduced something called as sections within a project. It's powerful because you can set reminders, tags and priority for each and every task or subtask you create. Reminders can be time-based or location-based and tags, they just help you quickly filter down the kind of tasks uh, you want to see at once. What's really fascinating is the way due date or reminder or tags or even priority gets set. It's not like it's additional work. So while you're typing out the task, you can naturally just include the priority or the tag or even the reminder or due date. One of the best things about Todoist is that it's available on all devices. iPhones, iPads, MacBook, Android phones, Windows machines, and even inside things like, you know, Microsoft Outlook, Gmail, Slack integration, and even if this, then that. I mean, there's not one place you would not find Todoist. So there's absolutely no way that you would escape a task that's due. The app also comes with a bunch of color themes. so you can pretty much personalize it to your taste or preferences. So yeah, there's projects, there's tasks, there's subtasks, alerts, reminders, tags, priorities, um, assigning it to other people, integration with other apps. Todoist is like a task management app on steroids. And the last app in this list is called Calendar App by Anydo. It's like a combination app of to-dos and calendars. So essentially you get a calendar view of your tasks, it sort of instantly tells you what your day is going to be like, what needs to be focused on and get things done on that day to feel satisfied and more productive. It's got a very useful home screen widget that would actually be a great idea 
if you were to keep your primary screen with that widget. And then on iPhones, you can just create a lock screen widget and have it in front of you all the time. Needless to say, you can create tasks with reminders and uh, labels or tags. There are multiple color themes possible, but any customization is strictly a paid feature. Additionally, the app syncs across crazy number of platforms, so you will never, never escape a task that's due. Oh, and if you are a WhatsApp user, you got to know that you can receive any do reminders and notifications as WhatsApp messages, as well as make any of your WhatsApp message a task in your app, so it works both ways. But it does come at an extra cost of $3 a month, which is actually very steep. So that's it guys, those are the five to-do apps that I thought are really unique uh, in what they offer and sort of connects with at least one kind of user and satisfies their need. Now, there are many to-do apps and some of them may even be better. I'm not saying that these are the best five apps, but the idea was to bring out their uniqueness and see which one fits your kind of use the best. So thank you for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.